When talking about powerful fusions who are tougher than the rest, you just can't forget the mom of all moms, Alexandrite. In today's overall analysis, we will dig through her limited screen time to answer the question, how strong is Alexandrite? What happens when your beloved stand-in son gets kidnapped by another bad guy and is about to be shot into space? Well, you just grab the darn spaceship with your bare hands! Now, unlike the injector from Steve Universe the movie, this ship honestly isn't all that big, so it likely weighs around 165,000 pounds. But don't worry, she can crank that strength up even higher, as proven during her battle with the equally destructive Malachite, who likely weighs 764,870 pounds. But seeing as she is an immensely powerful fusion, it's likely she can pull off similar feats, like when a severely weakened Steven was able to lift a ship that was 35,105 times heavier than himself. With that kind of skill in mind, Alexandra should be able to lift over 35 billion 500 million pounds. But Alexandre isn't just a heavy lifter, she specializes in hard-hitting punches and attacks. During the same battle, Malachite traps Alexandre in ice, resulting in her having to use her immense strength to shatter it to pieces. Skeleton Alexandre from a previous shot, her pre-ice son, stands 1,605 centimeters tall with diameter A spanning 896.41 centimeters and diameter B standing 2,389.37 centimeters, giving the trapezoidal cylinder a volume of 3,636 cubic meters. Accounting for the room in the middle that Alexandre takes up, we have to remove roughly 650 cubic meters, giving us a grand total volume of 2,986 cubic meters. Applying an average circumference, after accounting for both diameter A and B, the total area that Alexandre shatters is 57.857 squared meters. With that area in mind, and accounting for the sheer strength of ice, this feat would require 63,642,000 newtons. But things don't stop there. Alexandre takes a note from Sardonyx and uses her Warhammer on Malachite. Accounting for the distance between the two based on Malachite's height, we find that Alexandre whacked Malachite 364.05 meters away in roughly 1.5 seconds, reaching a velocity of 237.43 meters per second in 0.511 seconds, giving us an acceleration of 464.55 meters per second squared. Applying Malachite's mass, and this hit will require 161,509,000 169 newtons. Not only that, but Alexandrite holds the unique ability to breathe fire. This fire is so powerful that it rivals Malachite's hydrokinesis. The same hydrokinesis allowed Malachite to alter a water wall into an ice wall, which would require nearly 4,321.7 tons of TNT. But Alexandrite has one last stop far more powerful than Malachite could ever imagine. After the aforementioned walping into the clouds, Alexandra hits Malachite with a shot from her power bow, which results in her rival going from M for Malachite to W for oh boy, that's a big boom. Based on the resulting explosion scale to Alexandra, and compared to other nuclear bombs from history, the minimum yield of this explosion would be 15,583 tons of TNT, with a maximum yield of 41,979.9 tons of TNT. At best, this explosion is nearly 28 times more powerful than the AIR-2 Genie Bomb. That is insane! I wasn't originally planning on doing a double up this week, but seeing as Alexandre and Malachite going hand in hand with one another, I figured I wouldn't make you guys wait a whole week just to hear about Alex. As always, thanks for coming down to Honor's Place. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Be sure to check out these other videos and be sure to like and subscribe for more. See you later!